Hi, my name is Andy. On behalf of Water and Wastewater Professionals Week, I'm going to give you a tour of the uh, Cape Girardeau Water Treatment Plant. Here we use uh, groundwater, and our water is uh, on the other side of town in our well field. We have four wells that feed this facility, and it comes in to the back of the plant. It first comes in through aerators, and there it's kind of a bunch of pipes that cascades off of it and introduce air to the water and oxidizes it, get the iron out of the water. From there it goes, we have three clarifiers. We have two lime softening clarifiers, and we have one iron removal clarifier. From those clarifiers, it goes over to our blend tank where chlorine is introduced. And then from there, from the blend tank to right where we're standing here at the flock basins, ammonia is introduced and it ties up the chlorine. And then from here, once the ammonia and the chlorine is being mixed, it goes through these settling basins and any type of flock or anything that might be still in the water will settle out and it goes through the plant to our filters, which filters out and uh, then it goes to our clear well and then out to the city for our customers. We are in the filter gallery. This is our last stage in the uh, treatment process. Basically what's going on here is water from the, the settling basins comes in through here. We have 14 of these water filters. Basically the water comes in, it goes over a trough and it slowly trickles through. Uh, you got several different layers. You have a, a crushed coal layer, you've got uh, uh, like a rock bed, then you have a sand bed, and as it goes through there, all that stuff is just grabbing whatever could be still left into the uh, water. Basically, the operator can come here, control how many gallons, because like in the summertime, you can imagine there's a lot more water usage. So the more water we have coming through the plant, the higher these have to be turned up to filter that water. Obviously, the more it filters, the more it catches. Uh, so every night, the operator will wash these filters, keep them clean, make sure that you know they're doing their jobs. And the way we do that is we look at this meter right here, and it's called turbidity. Turbidity is basically the cloudiness of the water. We want to keep that as low as possible. We want that water crystal clear and clean. So when this number starts getting high, we immediately wash it. Uh, so basically, it's reading a .067, which that's basically perfect. So then once it uh, filters here, it goes on out and it goes into the clear well and it's ready to drink. Thanks for watching and happy Water and Wastewater Professionals Week.